when the narcissist realizes you're finished. When they realize you're finished with them, you no longer want to deal with them. You're no longer interested. At some point, you get fed up. You realize that the relationship is pointless and useless. And you're reluctant to experience any more of it. But narcissists are very needy. They need emotional support. They need constant attention and reassurance. They need to feel superior. They need to be right. They need to latch on to people who are powerful and successful. They need you to validate the illusions of their false self. They need you to submit to them. They need you to enable their dysfunctional behavior. But sometimes, they will love bomb you. Sometimes, they will give you something that you desire. But that's only to lure you in so that they can get what they want from you. Sometimes they will get very angry. They will complain about everything and there will be constant arguments. They will try to convince you that you have to think the same way that they do. They will try to convince you to do things their way. And if you don't, they will be very angry or upset, which leaves you walking on eggshells. It leaves you to become extremely cautious about your words and actions, where you are very careful not to offend or upset them because they get angry and offended very easily. Or sometimes, they might give you the silent treatment. But at some point, you're finished. You no longer want to deal with them because you realize there's nothing special or exciting about them. It doesn't interest you. So you become indifferent because you realize there's no positive aspect of the situation. You're not receiving anything of value from it. It doesn't benefit you in any way. It's not improving your life. It's not making you a better person. They're just using you. They're accepting something from you without returning something of equal value in exchange. And that is why they never appreciated you. That is why they took it for granted because they didn't have to earn it. And once they've exhausted you of your useful properties, 
they will treat you as unworthy of serious consideration. They will discard you. They're not going to be there to offer support or assistance to you. But there's nothing you can tell them. It will just make them strengthen their commitment to their particular strategy and course of action. They will increase their efforts and hold to their position and opinion. They will tell you why you're wrong and why you need to think the same way as they do. They will tell you that you just need to give them what they need as though that's the right thing for you to do. But when you finally get tired of playing games with a narcissist, they will go into panic mode and they will do anything they can to stop you from getting away. Because they see it as though you think you're better than them. So they will try to beat you to the punch. They will try to get you before you get them. They will try to gain an advantage over you. And you may try to talk to them. But it won't get through. Because they lack empathy. They're very arrogant and entitled. And despite everything they've done to you, they will become the victim. And they will have to win. They will have to make the final decision. Because they have to be superior to you. But this is when you really see who they are. Because when there is a disagreement, they will become very needy and demanding. And they will blame you for your faults or mistakes. As though you are the problem. But if you're really the problem. Why do they need your support? The narcissist saw you as an object. They saw you as something that was useful to them. Something that they could use to their advantage. Which is why when you don't give them what they want, they will discard you and find something else. But when you lose interest in them, they will expect you to pay. They will expect you to suffer a misfortune because you're not meeting their needs. But not wanting to deal with a narcissist is not beyond the limits of acceptability or fairness. It's guided by good sense. But when you do that, they will blame you. They will make false accusations. They will try to force you into a position or purpose that you don't desire to be in. And then they will try to make you feel guilty for trying to avoid their imposed obligations. But when they do that, they're just showing you that you were right all along. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.